In this quick tip video, I am going to show you guys how to create a very stylish and minimal looking text animation inside of After Effects. Now, this text animation is highly inspired from a video hive author called Motion Can. He has this really cool and snappy animation style which I really really like and today I'll show you how to recreate it inside of After Effects using some very simple steps. I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition called this text 1920 into 1080 60 FPS and 10 seconds long. I'll hit OK. Let's select the text tool and you can of course type in anything that you want. I'm going to just type in just like you saw in the example creative. Let's make this white color and bring down the size to around 200 that looks good maybe it's a bit too big let's make this 100 okay perfect so here we have our text so let's start animating this I'll go into text property and in the animate section I need to add a position go again into the add section not in the animate this way it will only add the properties in the animator one if you want to create an animator two then you need to go into animate and add a rotation or opacity so it's going to create an animator two but in this case we just want all the properties inside one single animator so to do that i'm gonna first of all delete the animator two go right here in the animator one add section and add property of opacity and a property of tracking there we go for the position i'll bring this down to around 100 or maybe let's go to 150 okay for the opacity I'll bring that down to zero and for the tracking amount I'll make it really like maybe let's actually go to minus 60 that looks good and now let's go into the range selector one and animate the start property and now we have this really cool looking animation so let's keyframe this really quick create a new keyframe on the start property at the very beginning i'll go to around one second and 30 frames and set this to 100 then select all the keyframes that is two keyframes go into graph editor and you see now right now we have very flat keyframes now if your graph editor doesn't look like this then right click and select edit speed graph select this points and hit f9 to easy ease the keyframes Keep the time indicator in between and let's create kind of a peak in the center. So we get a very snappy animation. And now we have something like this which looks really cool and snappy. Let's move the time indicator to one second. And now I'm going to add an animator too. So I'll go right over here in the animate section and add a tracking. Alright, create a keyframe on the tracking amount, go to 2 seconds and bring this up to around 20. So I'll select this keyframes, hit F9, go into the graph editor, move the time indicator in between so I can just, you know, eyeball the center and then drag this point just like that creating a nice snapping animation. So now we have two animations as you can see. Now it's a bit too fast so what I can do is I can move the second keyframe to around 2 seconds and 30 frames just like so and now let's preview our animation. And as you saw it is looking absolutely great. Now to make it look more interesting what you can do is select the text, hit Ctrl D to duplicate it, put this below and give it the same color as the background so let's create a new background hit ctrl y on the keyboard to create a new solid i'm using this really nice pink color hit ok call this bg for background put this at the back select our text that is a second text increase the size just like that really high 
align it into the center using the align section and for the color I'll select the background color then make sure the layer is selected go into effects and presets and type in drop shadow double click to apply that we don't want any distance we just want the softness like so color I'll pick away the color from the background and then move this to a bit darker tone So now we have a very interesting look in animation which looks very minimal and stylish. So I hope you enjoyed this quick tip video and if you did then make sure to subscribe, comment and like. And I will see you guys in the next video. Till then take care. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to stay wrong, stay creative.